I'm back at Universal Studios Hollywood to have a little fun and check up on the park. So how about you and I dive right in. Alrighty, welcome back to another theme park obsession video. Back at Universal Studios Hollywood today. It's a Sunday, and uh, it so happens to be the last day of Halloween Horror Nights tonight. So it's the end of the 2019 season. Sad face, but uh, yeah, it's been a long run. It's uh, been fun, and I'm curious to see how 2020 is going to be, especially in Orlando with. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights 30th anniversary out there in Orlando, so super stoked for that. But yeah, let's see what's going on here at the park, especially with Secret Life of Pets and of course the Nintendo project that's happening downstairs in the lower lot. It's a beautiful day today. Alrighty, we are here and look at that. Look at how much detail there is on that facade work. It's awesome looking. Looks so much better with the scrims down. The scrims are down uh, probably because we've been having these Santa Ana winds lately. So they're probably just waiting for a weather report that says that we're not gonna experience the winds. Uh, when you have that scrim on with the scaffolding, it gets a little dangerous. So uh, they're just being smart about it. But it looks like it's pretty much complete, which is fantastic. So hopefully we'll see the scaffolding down in the next couple weeks or so, because uh, I think they're just gonna do a couple little final touches here and there and then it'll be done, but it looks great. All right, so over here by the entrance of Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, it looks like they finished the paving project, so the, the walls have been removed from the attraction, so it's a little bit easier to get in front of the attraction. Again, you can still access the restrooms over here and, of course, the Irish pub. But uh, over here, the scrims are actually still up, so maybe uh, the wind isn't of a concern on this side, or they might just be uh, getting ready to take down everything entirely. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see this all done, but over here on this side, you can see that the scrims are fully down. On the far end over there, uh, you can see that uh, everything is done on that side, which is nice. I wish, again, they could have like carried this facade down a little bit farther. But this right here looks fantastic as well. Look at the details. It looks really cool. And then here's just like a wide shot of everything. You can see the different textures here on each section of uh, the facade here. Still haven't revealed, obviously, this portion, but you can see the little details through the scrims there so again probably in the next like week and a half two weeks or so these will all be down and uh, of course the ride opens up next spring or summer so that'll be really exciting and uh, I hope that this ride is fantastic I'm sure it will be again there was really nothing in this space before besides the Globe Theater so it's nice to have a new attraction here the park desperately needs new rides and it's gonna be fun to be able to ride an all-new one all right so here's a current look at the Nintendo project being worked on down the lower lot next to Transformers and Jurassic World. You can see right over here in this corner that they have a lot of foundation work uh, that has been making some really good progress the past couple days. So that's really nice to see. No more structural steel uh, in this shot, but obviously when we get down to the lower lot, we'll see if we can see anything more. But yeah, this building right here is seeing a lot more uh, pieces being added to it, especially on the perimeter of the show building itself. You can see that by the cross beam supports, you can see more structural steel that has been put up. So that's fantastic. But yeah, this project is getting bigger and bigger every single day. And I'm super excited to see what eventually gets expanded into. Like I wonder if they'll start expanding over here into these sound stages once these productions wrap up, you know, sometime in the future, or if they'll go that way into that sound stage over there. Again, it's gonna be a really interesting project to watch in the next five to 10 years and see what they do down the lower lot here. All right, so I've made it to the lower lot because today, since it's the last day of Halloween Horror Nights, uh, all the merchandise is 90% off. So if you want to get Halloween Horror Nights merchandise, come the last two days because uh, yesterday was 70% off and then tonight it's 90% uh, off. So we're just going to see what they have down here in the studio store because this particular location has like everything during the season. We'll see how much has been wiped out since then. We've got a couple Stranger Things hats left and of course, um, some of these little guys, but everything else is off the shelf. Okay, like for example, this uh, shirt right here, the Halloween Horror Nights kind of like classic 80s shirt is only $3.20. Isn't that awesome? The only problem is if you wait this long is obviously there's limited sizing. So like there's an extra, extra small and an extra, extra small. So if you're that size or if you're lucky and you can find one, there's also any you know, other locations in the park, but you know, this is perfect because yeah, I mean, you can't beat $3 compared to 
$32 originally. Or like what Michael and I are gonna get right now are these uh, little posters. And this is actually the one from Orlando, which is awesome. We just noticed this and it's only like, what, $1.50 or $2? So yeah, I'm totally getting it. It used to be uh, $17 and yeah, it's completely marked down. They have a couple of these shirts left. Uh, they're all smalls though, but yeah, again, these are super cheap. Used to be 32, so now they're only a few bucks. That's actually a really cool shirt. So yeah, the grand total uh, for those posters, well, one poster is $1.86. Can you believe that? That's so good. I can't can't beat it, can't beat $1.86. So yeah, if you're waiting to buy some of the like, more collectible stuff from Halloween Horror Nights, just wait for the last like two nights because that's when they heavily mark it down because they have to get rid of the product so they can bring in some new stuff, especially for the holidays. All right, so here's an even closer look at the Nintendo project right next to Transformers. Uh, again, this building is so huge and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger every single week I come and check it out. And you can see the newest addition here on the side is the structural steel like outer like perimeter on the show building. It's just crazy how massive the show building is. The, the video does not do it justice. You have to come here in person and see it. It's just massive. But yeah, they are making a lot of good progress, especially right here on the outer perimeter. Uh, they have a lot of new structural steel up on the cross supports, uh, like these, these portions right here. They now have a, an exterior on them. So that means the next step will probably be the outer sheeting of the show building. And then obviously the stucco and all that fun stuff will be after. And then the fine details, depending on what kind of details they put here. And obviously what we're going to see and what we're not going to see while we're inside this new land but you can see how close it does get to the Transformers uh, section. So I wonder uh, if this section will be decorated or if it will look plain like this sign. I guess time will tell, uh, you know, the more this project continues to grow, but yeah, exciting stuff down here in the lower lot. And of course, over here off to the left, this project uh, that is right next to the main show building seems to be the same. They're working on a lot of foundation as we saw from the upper lot vantage point. But uh, as far as structural steel goes, not too much more has been um, put up in the last couple weeks. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you love this sort of content, hit the subscribe button because I have brand new videos every single week and you won't wanna miss out on that. I also have an Instagram page at Theme Park Obsession, so be sure to follow that as well. I post updates there all the time that sometimes I don't post here on the channel, so be sure to check that out. Like always, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.